These athletes are preparing to go to this year's Olympics, but before training can begin, they must carry out some chores. This is the Tekla Lerupe Refugee Training Camp. Here, we meet the five athletes who were recently named in the first ever Olympics refugee team. A week since that historic announcement by IOC President Thomas Buck, the news is yet to sink in for some. It, it is now coming that uh, I believe that uh, it is true. I was not even a belief. I was not belief. You know, when it, African, they always they believe in sea, and now we have already seen it. For James Nyang, Paul Lokoro, Angelina Nada, Yech Pur, and Rose Nathike, who are from the Kakuma refugee camp, the road to an Olympic ticket has been fraught with uncertainty. In my life, I never expected to, to go to Rio. Uh, you know, being a refugee, you expect many things to happen in your life. But this is my first achievement in my life. Eight months ago, these athletes would never have imagined they could be molded into competitive athletes and ready for an Olympic Games. When you, you, you tell somebody who doesn't know anything about it, to do it, it's a, it's a challenge. First, starting from waking up in the morning. It has been a very hard thing to, for, for, for us. We had to do a lot of counseling to them. We, we have to take them into process. We have to, to bring a lot of, I mean, uh, energy from other athletes of Kenyans. Today, the hard work has paid off, but even as they dream of Olympic gold, some have been unable to share the good news with their parents. Angelina was separated from her parents at age six and has never seen them since. Yeah, they will really be proud of me, even though I, I have never stayed with them. Maybe even they don't know how do I look like, but maybe according to the picture they see, they can able to say, oh, this is our child. Even me, I have already forget their faces. But wherever they are, they know that I know they are very proud of it. I didn't even do contact with them because they are living in village and they don't have contact. And sometimes network is not there. I think maybe they just had them somewhere and now I've not even informed them. I only inform my siblings who are living in Kakuma because I do contact them. Training in a country with a rich athletics history, the team will be looking to borrow from that experience in preparation for Rio. The five expect to make an appearance at Kenya's Olympics trials at the end of the month. For these athletes, getting to Rio is already a gold medal of performance. But that does not mean they will not put in the hard work. Because as a symbol of hope for many refugees worldwide, they will be out to show that they too can excel on the big stage. Celestine Karone, CCTV, Ingong, Kenya.